unfortunately. Yeah. The reducing environment is that we think the early Earth did not, not have, have free oxygen. 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 Right. right. So, so he's, he's trying to, if, if life's formed on Earth under well, these you, conditions. Well, you got to create the conditions on, right. under and which so it what, formed. So what came, so out of the ooze, nothing crawled out. But nothing crawled out. If you run the experiment long enough, you basically get what we call a tar in prebiotic chemistry, which is just an undifferentiated mess of a whole bunch of organic molecules that we can't identify. Gotcha. Okay, prebiotic chemistry means what? Prebiotic chemistry means chemistry that could plausibly happen on the early earth in the absence of life. Before, Before. you have life. Before you have life. So it's, or, it's organic uh, chemistry. Yeah. Right. Or, yeah, yeah, I like the word organic chemistry better because prebiotic kind of makes it sound like it's predisposed to become biological, but there's no teleology, there's no direction. It also makes it sound like something right. you yeah. take before a meal. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Yeah. People do confuse it with probiotic exactly. all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all that probiotic chemistry. Yeah. Wait, I, I got something here. Here we go, here we go. You want something? Oh, right. Is, uh, you have the primordial soup. That's so adorable. Yes, I have a little <laughs> can of primordial soup. Okay. And so in an emergency, if we got to jumpstart life, you right. know, we, just come, come back. We, we can make that happen. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah.